What do you see here? This is the base for my Everlast punching bag. Ho, ho, ho. I can't wait to beat this thing up. <laughs> what does it have in it? 250 pounds of water. That's a lot of water right there. It took a lot of trips back and forth to the tub with a pot to fill this up, but I did it. Yes, I did, all by myself. After it's filled up with water or sand, but I used water because I'm not about to go buy all that sand. The next thing you do is put this neck plate, align the pegs, squarish peg on this side, round peg on that side. All right. So the next step involves securing this plate to the base. You're gonna need the flat washer, the lock washer, and the bolts, okay? So you're gonna use these on the outer set of holes, all right, in that order, flat washer, lock washer, and bolt. So as you can see, they're not fully tightened, but I've put the bolts into the holes. I've left this last one so you can see the order. Flat washer, lock washer, and you put the bolts in the hole, hand tighten it, okay? Next you go with the Allen wrench to make it really secure all over. All right, here's a quick troubleshooting tip if you run into issues as I just did. So I started securing these two with the Allen wrench and got them pretty secure. And then when I got to this one, it was getting stuck. So what I had to do was go back and loosen the ones I had tightened. And now you wanna make sure it's lined up really well in that hole. And you can kind of, if it's loose, and giving you trouble, you can kind of use your hand, you know, one hand to hold and pull this over if you have to in the direction where you need some space in that hole, okay? Because the holes have to be lined up well uh, before you secure it with the Allen wrench, okay? Hope that makes sense. All right, the neck plate has been secured to the base. So the next step is to get this thingamajig which is the flex plate, okay? And secure it to the neck plate with, you guessed it, flat washers, lock washers, and the bolts. So you have to align the holes, okay, before you secure it. So I'm gonna go do my thing, get the washers and bolts, and secure this down, just like I did the neck plate to the base. The next step is screwing the connecting pole into the flex neck, which is now securely in place. And you have to make sure that the connecting pole has this thingy, which is called the power transfer ring, okay? So basically it gets screwed on here. So that's what I'm about to do, screw it on. See, screwing it on like so. All right, so the upper part of this punching bag came pre-assembled, okay? I removed this, that is the adjusting pole from inside, all right? So the next step, you have to take this foam plug and stick it all the way and push it through to the bottom. So that's what I'm about to do. So as you can see, I have pushed that foam plug down into the bottom, okay? The next thing is getting this white foam ring into the shell. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I got the white foam ring into the shell. I just wanna say <laughs> that that's a lot harder than it looks and the foam ring was kind of falling apart a little bit on me because I had to fight with it a little bit. It's a much harder step than it's described in the instructions. The instructions simply say 
Insert white foam ring into shell. This is best accomplished by putting the ring in at an angle, then pulling the shell up around it. Yeah, it was harder than that. Just saying. All right. So now I'm going to take the black ring, put it on top of the white foam ring, and then close this thingamajig up. All right. So now you take this thingamajig. This is called the adjusting pole. And you screw it into the connecting pole. So I need both hands to do that. All right, so I've now got the adjusting pole on there. And now I realize why it's called an adjusting pole. Because you see how it has this design on it, right? When we get this, the bag on it, we can adjust the height of the bag. Isn't that so cool? Yes. So I'm going to put this down now so that I can get this flip it over onto here and adjust it, adjust the height using these, right, spaces that align with the pegs. I don't know if you can see that inside. All right, that's the next step. There it is. Isn't it a beauty? I am so excited by this. And I did it all by myself, so of course, I feel super proud. Oh yeah, my husband's not getting any of the credit for this because I put it together all by myself. Well, I do have to give him credit for buying me some really cool boxing gloves. That's what started this journey. I mentioned a long time ago to my hubby that I wanted to get into boxing and he got me some gloves so then I went ahead and got myself this and I can't wait to beat this thing up. Oh, I cannot wait. What do you see here? This is the base for my Everlast punching bag. Ho, ho, ho. I can't wait to beat this thing up. <laughs> what does it have in it? 250 pounds of water. That's a lot of water right there. It took a lot of trips back and forth to the tub with a pot to fill this up, but I did it. Yes, I did, all by myself. After it's filled up with water or sand, but I used water because I'm not about to go buy all that sand. The next thing 